Hey guys, it's Firefreak57 here, and it's time for system test number six. So you'll notice that the lighting is a little bit better in here. It's thanks to that got replaced, so better lighting. Um, and right here, for the first device, I've got my Wheelock 7002T-24 horn stroke. And following it down to the pole station, we have my Pyrotronics MFS-2 pole station. And for the next pole station, we still have the Faraday Chevron from the last test. Following it up to my Wheelock uh, RSS-24 MCW remote strobe. And it is set uh, on... 15 candela. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, so, uh, we'll get started. And quick thing about this, 29 out of 3 and that, that's not hooked up. I just didn't feel like taking it down yet. Um, and the MDL is, you can see it's not hooked up because this remote strobe is going to be on a uh, continuous flash in 60 hertz, which means I can set off this and this and have them going off at the same time because I remote strobe. And uh, this is also not hooked up to the MDL, so it's going to be doing continuous like all these horn strobes should. So without further ado, let's just get started by pulling We'll do the chevron first, activate the remote strobe, and then we'll do the other, the 7002T, and then reset and wrap everything up. So let's do that. All right, so let's pull this. Three, two, one. Remote strobe's going. And now we'll do this. Three, two, one. reset this pole station. And before we reset, just a, you know, cool little fun fact. This right here was actually the first ever uh, pole station that I ever got. And this RSS right here was the first alarm that I ever got. So, you know. So, this thing right here, this odd looking thing, is our fancy MFS2 key. So, to reset, we just put that key through, and then we just turn and push up, and then we release. And uh, real quick, this cover pulls off, and I can show you the inside. So this is just a plate. This is not a spring. This is actually just a metal bar that kind of bends, which is cool. And uh, there's the UL sticker. And you see this says model 4015 because this was originally uh, branded by uh, Autocall, Autocall and uh, Pyrotronics just rebranded this. And so, yeah. This was also made by a cast iron, I assume, company called Supercast. Uh, and then there's the switch. Let's see, there we go. Alarm or test, and then normal. See, nothing happens because, you know, 
because I don't have that turned on. But that's just that. So, and then this cover. You can see when we pull it, it just simply flips this switch here. Well, over like that. So, I do have the original back box for this. And it's the same kind of shape as that pull station. Um, so we'll go ahead and reset this Faraday pull station. Putting in the hex wrench. And uh, turning it. Open that. Just see that in there real quick. There's a label. Here's the little plastic button. If we can focus it on that. There we go. And then, you know, you know, that. I think that's pretty cool. That's for the glass rod, which I did get an original one with this. Uh, find where the screw is here. So that's reset. And uh, why don't we just um, okay, that's fine. we'll key it real quick. Just yeah, just so you can see that. We'll do this real quick too. Um, we'll just flip it. So that was number six, so thank you for watching.